Houston can't foul. They'll be over the limit. Jordan gets inside and shoots it up, rimming. No, and a foul on Elijah Wan. Picture it. 10 seconds left on the clock. 10 seconds decide whether all your hard work pays off. The late nights, the blood and sweat, or an end, an end to the journey you've been going on. The ball comes to you, and with the loss of your strength, you take one final shot. A good sports anime should excite you. Get your heart pumping, absorb you into the moment, the spirit and the passion for the sport captivating you at every moment. It's no secret that the sports genre is among the most popular genre in anime simply because it captures the beauty of the sports and it revolves around a character that is overly passionate about the sport. In most sports anime, the characters don't start off at their best. Far from it. They make mistakes, encounter hardships, however they persevere and learn from their challenges and go through the process of wanting to be better before moving on to take steps in that direction. The character development of sports anime is for them to realize their weakness and take action to either resolve them or find a way to make up for them. The desire to improve, to win and persevere over the circumstances that befall the characters or just the struggle to take that step, that single step forward on their journey to improve. These themes are prevalent throughout most sports animes. Kuroko no Basket follows Kuroko on his journey to perfect his style of basketball. Kuroko has a very fragile, small build for a basketball player, and these subpar traits make him not suited to basketball despite his enormous love for the game. These disadvantages are in sharp contrast to his teammate and companion Kagami Taiga, who in a sense has it all. Kagami is very muscular and tall for a high school student, giving him an overwhelming aura, which some characters describe to be like the intensity of a wild tiger. Kagami is a very ambitious, stubborn and determined person. He refuses to give up in difficult situations and is also very headstrong. He's well known for his undying and furious fighting spirit. <laughs> Kagami isn't the best player in the story, but he relishes playing against strong opponents and sees no point in playing basketball when there are no challenges. The former trait makes him a good character to lead the story. Kuroko on the other hand makes no claim to be number one, he instead refers to himself as a supporting actor, a shadow to the light that is Kagami. And at first, this may seem a bit odd. But this thought is something that crosses many people's minds. What if you weren't the main character of your story? This insistent thought deteriorates at your psyche. As Kagami makes his lofty statement to be number one, Koko looks on Kagami knowing that he will never reach the heights that Kagami aims for. However, he does not have a look of discontent or disappointment. He's not jealous of the skills and aptitude that Kagami was born with. He has already come to an understanding of the journey he is walking. All he wants to do is play the game he loves with all his heart. A shadow will become darker if the light is stronger and it will make the white of the light stand out. As the shadow of the main actor, Kuroko decides that his role may not have the glamour of Kagami's but is just as significant. He has found a position that only he can do and he's content in helping his team become number one. Teamwork is a big theme in many sports anime and it's one Kuroko no basket tackles a lot throughout the story. Koko started off his basketball career at Taiko Middle School, where he became the trump card of a team that would later be called the Generation of Miracles. But at Taiko, winning meant everything. Their motto was to be ever victorious. Losing was not a possibility, not an option for the reigning champions. It was their core principle. This winning ideal was so ingrained in their players that teamwork was an afterthought and this philosophy wasn't a detriment to the team. On the contrary, they continued to win with absolute strength. In his third year, Kuroko began to see the stark changes in the Generation of Miracles and couldn't do anything to stop it. This led to Kuroko's hatred for basketball. He's dismayed that the game he's loved since 5th grade could be twisted into something so horrible. A hunger for supremacy, victory above all. But 
What is victory? In a basic sense, victory is the defeat of one's enemies. However, victory changes meanings from person to person. For the generation of miracles, victory is a conquest of the weak, no less than a crushing defeat to their opponents. To Kuroko, this is not a true triumph. A win has no merit without teammates and friends sharing this achievement with you. What is a win, a victory, if you win by yourself? This back and forth of ideals is the narrative Kuroko no Bosco follows throughout each episode. The games between the generation of miracles is a battle of ideologies. Kisei is the first member of the generation of miracles that Kuroko and Kagami face. Before getting into playing basketball, Kisei was constantly bored and apathetic due to him easily being able to master any sport in a short period of time, producing an arrogance that was built on a foundation of skill. It was only when he started playing basketball at Taiko that Kisei felt his skills truly tested against the other generation of miracles. Kaijo and Seirun face off in a practice match. However, this was merely a pretense for the battle between Kisei and the Kuroko Kagami duo, which ends in an upset for Kisei, resulting in a dramatic change in Kisei's frame of mind. The taste of a loss acts as a strong stimulant for his progress. This development becomes evident when the cornered Kisei passes the ball instead of taking on Amina and scoring for himself. Unfortunately for him, this leads to an unforgiving loss to Toho Academy. Teamwork is a theme scrutinized throughout the story. None of the Generation of Miracles started off as extraordinary players. However, Taiko Middle School was still a championship winning team. The narrative of the story is that working together with others can do nothing but aid your development as a person. What is a win, a victory, if you win by yourself? This is the question that the story has been touting since episode and chapter 1. The possibility of winning is only zero when all the players give up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.